be like water my friends that's what I'm trying to do with this video show you how to make your new tile pop with some grout but we're gonna go the easy way we're gonna use premixed grout and I'll tell you why I'm using premixed grout the tips tricks and shoulda woulda couldas for this video for returning viewers you already know how to get down full tool list is displayed on the screen also in the video description you'll see a full tool list as always let's get this thing started off fast now this video is about installing the pre-mixed grout so I'm not going to go over too much in detail on how I laid out this tile but just make sure that your tile lines are straight and even make sure you use spacers that helps keep everything nice and clean and even and then we'll get to the actual grouting part step one use the two bucket method use a clean bucket and a dirty bucket of water i'll go into detail a little bit later in the video of what i do there make sure you have your premixed grout i'm using simple grout as a brand but i don't really have a preference there use what you want have the grout sponge the grout float Let's get this rolling. If you've ever grouted before, first thing you'll notice when you open up a premix tub is that it's a little stiffer than your bagged and water grout. That's your first tip. This should tell you that you'll have a little bit less time to work with this than your typical grout. You'll want to work in smaller sections and go back and start the cleaning process way sooner than you would with your typical bagged and water type mixed grout. Next tip and very important step, you want to pre-dampen the tile surface that you plan to work in. You want to take your sponge, apply it to your clean bucket of water, remember you have a dirty and clean side, and go ahead and dampen the area that you plan to work in. As I mentioned earlier, you want to work in a smaller section than you would typically for your bagged and water type grout. So I'm only doing two tile bays at a time for this, playing it safe so that I have time to go back and clean the grout before it hardens. With your grout dampened, now it's the time to actually apply the good stuff in the grooves. Go ahead and take your pre-mix, put it on your float, and go ahead and work it into the grooves. Now I'll admit, I'm not the best grouter, but I always apply the KISS method, keep it simple stupid, so I just cover the highlights of what I'm supposed to do when I'm grouting, and that's keeping the float at a 45 degree angle to the tile. That way you're working the grout into the crevices, but you're not kicking it out of the crevices as you're working it over the grooves. As I mentioned earlier, just use enough grout for your grout lines. Don't overdo it with the amount of grout that you put on the tiles. If you've been watching the bagged and water mix grout videos, for sure, they can use a lot of grout and kind of work their float all over the tile that they're working in, but this pre-mixed stuff dries so much faster, so trust me, use just enough grout for your grout lines and you'll save yourself so much time in cleaning up haze. Ask me how I know. Because when I first started using this pre-mixed stuff, I thought it was garbage because there was so much haze on the tile, but it turns out that I was garbage. I was using the wrong application method. Once the grout is nice and packed into your grout lines, you want to go ahead and start the cleaning process. For pre-mixed grout, I try to start this cleaning process at least 5 to 10 minutes after the initial start of placing the grout. As mentioned before, the grout doesn't have that much working time for this pre-mixed stuff. Cleaning is easy if done with care. I take the dampened sponge and I wipe. Note my process. I take one side, wipe, flip it, and I wipe. I then clean the sponge and I start the process over again. I don't like smushing the ground around and wiping on one side all around. Uh, it just doesn't give me a clean finish and I'll always leave too much haze when I do that. This is also where the two bucket method comes into play and I'll show you what I do for that right now. Blue bucket is my clean, clean-ish water. The orange bucket is my dirty water. After I've wiped a grout line, I'll take my sponge. I'll dip it in the dirty side to get the initial grout and stuff out. I don't want to take my dirty sponge and dip it in the clean side first. Dip it in the dirty side, get as much of the grout and junk off. Then I take that sponge, dip it in the clean side, get it damp. But I wring it back out in the dirty side. That's very important. You want to keep your clean side as clean as possible. I'll repeat this until I feel that the sponge is nice and clean for my new wipe. Using this process will go a long way in reducing the amount of haze you have left on your tile. Again, ask me how I know this pain. After about 30 minutes of letting the grout just sit and cure, I'll go ahead and start the cleaning and dehazing phase. I'll take a mild cleaner, an ammonia free window cleaner is usually pretty good, and I'll spray down the tile pretty generously. Then I break out my trusty green Brillo pad and I get 
to scrubbing. Now, if you follow my tips and you didn't make the same mixtapes I made when I first started using this pre-mix stuff, uh, then you shouldn't have too much of a workout here. Uh, but if you do, no worries. The haze will be removed. It just takes time, arm strength, and patience. I'll scrub in small circles, taking note not to really scrub in the grout lines. Those should be clean from the sponge portion. The sponge portion cleans the grout lines pretty well. This portion will clean the tiles. Again, time, patience, that's all you need here. Work in small circles. Once I have that cleaned up, I'll take a microfiber towel and I'll wipe and that usually gets rid of most of the haze. I'll do this one time, maybe two times. After that, we're looking like water, my friends. Looking like water. And with that, the install is complete. As again, like I said, if you do proper prep, make sure you dampen the tiles before you apply any grout. Don't over apply the grout and make sure you use a two bucket method and your grout job will come out looking great. Pre-mixed grout is a good alternative to using the bag and water method because if you're only grouting one time or maybe once every couple years, why are you going to go through all that process of getting all the additional tools that you'll need if you want to mix the grout properly using the bag and water method? You can save a little bit of time and just use pre-mixed grout. As long as you do the proper prep and the proper clean, it will come out looking great. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe, put any tips down below to make this easier. I'm sure I will grout again in the future and I'm always looking to improve upon a process and also help out anybody else watching this video. If they read the comments and they see a good tip, it's all good for everyone. That does it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'm out.